Are you gonna be able to ever get rid of these puppies, Liddy? We're gonna keep them. Are we gonna keep them? <laughs> Good morning. So we have a sick Lydia who's back taking a shower and trying to feel better. And we have an Ethan who is being so nice and mowing my front lawn for me. You having fun? Yeah. You almost done? Just looking around to make sure I got everything. I see a little bit of high places on that mound right there. Yeah, just a little bit around that edge. So, out in the goat area, we have a bunch of areas where the goats keep pushing through. It's really in the milking area that they keep doing this, so I'm gonna tie that up today. I'm sick and tired of them getting in there all the time. It's driving me nuts. It's such a simple thing, but it makes such a big difference because these goats keep pushing and pushing and what they keep doing is the goat that is sitting here getting milked gets her feed knocked over by some goat that sticks its head in there and knocks it over so check that off the list that is done here's the internal struggle I'm trying to decide if I should head out to the garden and check on stuff or if I should wait till it's cooler it's really hot right now but I think I better just do a quick check because them birds are eating my tomatoes. Looks like everybody's over here today. What are y'all doing over here? Huh? Just hanging out? Well, good. Then you're not trying to get in my garden. Wow, it's amazing what a couple days of difference it makes in this garden. Jeez Louise, everything's taken off here. These cantaloupe are doing amazing. I gotta string some more of them up because they kinda are starting to fall out a little bit. I need to make something for these zucchini and uh, pole beans to climb up on. Jeez, so much to do. Look at this, look at this cucumber. Do you remember how small it was? Is that insane? That was like yesterday I was out here and it was looking tiny. All my greens, they're still hanging in there. They're getting a little bitter, but we're still eating them. And the birds are loving the free tomatoes, so I've got to string something up here. I'm not big tomato eaters, so I debated just sharing them with the birds, you know. And then I've got to plant more stuff. Got to plant here. Got to plant over there. All right, good little check. Oh, look at that, look at that watermelon. You guys, look how big it is already. I better string that guy up. Let's see if there are any cantaloupe. I think there are, I think I saw a few the other day. All hidden, yep, I see some. I'm just not zooming in on them, but I see quite a bit. Here's a bunch of little baby ones that are getting started. There's a, one down there. Let's see on the other side if we've got any. Wow, it's crazy. Don't come out here for like two days and then it's all exploded. There's another little one right there. Bunch of little ones. These grow faster, I've noticed, than the watermelon, so. All right, I think I'm gonna wait till it gets a little cooler today and then I'll come out and do a little bit of work. I'll wait till this evening. Call it good, done with all the morning chores now. Okay, it's looking good, let's see here. Oh, those are really sturdy. Looks really cool, honey. Thanks for getting black ones, because I like that. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Oh, Lydia, how's your weekend been going? Mm. Not feeling good, I'm sorry. It's okay, we don't have anything to do this weekend, so that's perfect, you can just chill. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're feeling better because it was no fun to have that fever. You're feeling it's good. It's still hot though. Yeah. 
and get you another popsicle okay and Dora is in here cheering me on protecting you she always does that when somebody's sick she doesn't ever want to leave the room does she know you're sick it doesn't make sense I don't know she just like has this like instinct to stay with you she's been in here this whole time I can't get her to leave if I try to get her to leave she bites me really Yes. I want to see the puppy it's so bad. I really want to oh, do you want me to bring you a puppy? Sure. Okay. Your room has really been destroyed by these little cousins, hasn't it? Mm, I don't have time to clean it anymore. Yeah, now you're sick and you don't want to clean it. We'll let you skip cleaning it. Oh, oh there's another puppy. Mimi, bring me a puppy. Okay, I'll go bring you a cute puppy, okay? Yeah, I'll be right back. And a popsicle? Jeez. Mm -hmm. Demanding. Okay. Okay, let's get you, mister. Wait, no, 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 you have to stay in there. Sorry. Oh, that one's gonna cry. Hello! Do you wanna come cheer Lydia up? Okay, let's grab the popsicle. Popsicle and a puppy. Let's go. I can already hear the other puppy crying. Where's my friend? Okay, Liddy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hello. Popsicle? Oh my goodness. They're getting so big. I Mom. know. Just in a day. You haven't been out yeah, there. They, I, they look so much bigger than when I even last saw them like a day ago. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hello. Came to cheer you up. Oh. Let's see. Hello. Mm, mm, you're so big already. <laughs> Hi. Oh. <laughs> Those puppies, they just they just cure everything. Mm, so cute. We need to start feeding them the crushed up puppy chow now. Oh, okay. All right. Well, what you been? Um, oh, there's the other puppy. It's all alone. Oh my goodness. So what you been watching? Well, mostly just stuff on Netflix and Zootopia. <laughs> yeah. Pennsylvania too, everything. You know, I milked the goats all by myself this morning. What about Ethan? Ethan was mowing the front lawn. So I did it all by myself and I didn't mess up. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Uh, well, we don't have any more pellets, so we're just making them eat the pasture today until we get around to getting some pellets. But I fed him a mixture of some grain and some oh my goodness, sunflower so seeds. And, yeah, I mean, I used to milk <laughs> forever before you guys did. Mm. <laughs> so cute. Oh, you are just the cutest poopy. The boy, the girl used to be my favorite, but now the boy is my favorite. Oh. Ooh, the boy better. Oh, that puppy wants him. <laughs> oh. Oh, the other puppy. Okay, let me go get it. Did we leave you all alone? Oh no. And you're just howling. Let's let's let you out. Okay. Come on, let's go see Lydia. Come on, you gotta hop out first. Come on. You got right here. Look, you can get out. Come on. It's, it's just a little bit. <laughs> come on. Here, Minnie, come out here and then come over on this side and then he'll come out this way. Come on. Come on. It's opened. Come on. You've done it a million times. Come on. <laughs> Come here, you, puppy, you gotta hop at this. There you go. Oh, okay, let's go see Lydia. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, Gigi, you're so bad now. <laughs> yes, you are. Let's see here. Oh, now she's happy. Are you gonna be able to ever get rid of these puppies, Liddy? No, Are we gonna keep them? <laughs> Our original plans are now shot. <laughs> That's so cute.
We gotta keep All them. All those years of looking at Yorkie puppy pictures. <laughs> I know. No You've been dreaming about raising Yorkie puppies and now you're gonna not be able to sell them. No. I don't know. I mean, I remember when we raised puppies before they hit like the 12 week mark and they're just like so fun but so much work. They pee and poo and they're loud and they bark and they wake you up in the morning, you know, they're a lot of work. And you kind of realize like, oh, okay, I think it's worth it to, to sell them. Oh. Looks like we might have two extra puppies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Minnie dog. Oh, Minnie. Oh, Dora. All right, so I'm inside doing calls, cleaning out the fridge, but I just walked outside and saw what Kevin did and so I have to show you guys, it's amazing. Oh my gosh, he took out the garage door. Does that look amazing or what, you guys? It looks so much bigger in here. It's like massive. I am so in love. I love Kevin, he's so good at just working away on stuff. Kevin, you're a good worker. You're a good worker, man. So when Kevin and I were going to college, I don't think I had had Ethan yet. Nope. Um, you worked, remember in the summers, you used to work for that AZ restoration company? And you used to work in the heat and come home uh, just exhausted from demolishing houses and doing all sorts of stuff. But it's cool because you learned a lot of skills. That plus your mechanical engineering degree Sure helped you out. So I think the last part is he's just gonna finish, he's gonna insulate, if you can see, right up here. There's a bit of a space up here, so he's going to insulate this whole section and then seal it up with probably like a one by six or something. And then it's just all about the weather stripping and the locks that are gonna go into the concrete on the bottom. And once all of that is sealed up, the last thing really would be to paint it. So these are already all primed and we were gonna paint them white because that was what the other garage door was already painted. So let me shut these so you guys can see. And then I'm gonna put some of those faux carriage doors on each side, but looks good, right? I'm so proud of him. We, we've been trying to brainstorm a garage door that could be insulated for years and we've been researching it asking all sorts of people that have experts on garage doors and all of them said oh it can't be done because you can't seal it until we found that people make these cool trifold carriage doors so very nice so we'll just need to finish up a bunch of trim work and uh, the shutters are gonna come in a couple weeks so those will look a lot nicer block out a lot of that brutal sun and um, we still need to do the toilet and the just the texturing and then we just need to finish putting in the little spigots is it cool yet not really it's like five o'clock my garden is not shaded i was coming out to see if it was Alas, it is not. All right, let's look through some of the cool stuff I've got in here. So, I'm gonna plant Malabar spinach right now, and then in a couple weeks, I'm gonna plant another round of green beans. I'm going to also get started on some pumpkin, watermelon, more cantaloupe, um, Cucumber, this is an Armenian cucumber that um, does really well in the heat here. And corn, I'm gonna get that started right now. The corn and the pumpkin are going to be planted uh, in a month. I'm gonna let them grow inside for a while. And then these guys are gonna all be planted in a couple weeks. Sound good? He was doing a back float in the water, so I thought he was dead. In but, in like the ghost water, you mean? Yeah, he was doing a back float, and he, and he looked all big. Is he dead? 
No, but he's like being all chill, so he must have like swallowed a bunch of water or something. I don't know. He drank too much water. Squish him to get the water. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Weird. Well, should we eat him? Now it's finally cool enough that I can work in my garden. So that's what I'm gonna do. 